Uh, I'm Adam Catron. Pleasure to be with you. Jason Cundy alongside me. As always, um, let's go to Leicester, shall we? Paul's a Leicester fan. Paul, welcome to the show. How are you? Good evening, Paul. How are you? Yeah, not too, no, yeah quite happy after tonight, tonight's game. Yeah, uh, bit, yeah. Good one for you lot. Good uh, one. Bit, bit concerned that, you know, right after by this time, we'll go on early on and that was it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not thinking about, I think, uh, I think, I think Paul, King Power and that, the blueprint for what they've done. I think you boys and lot would say how kind of the outside looking in, how well it's run. And I think if sometimes it's it's like a banner bit. Sometimes the best way to exercise power is to straight use with it. They don't have to be coming out giving the same action and speak louder than the words. But you need a lot of luck, obviously. You need a lot of luck, but uh, you know, to make the right choices underneath and stuff. But it's almost gone not perfect like that. They've done everything. But that's in, I think the Thai people are like that. They get themselves into the community, as you know, the bitch yeah. and stuff, right embedded in to, to do that. You know, and almost like they are one of the, you know, the local businessmen. You know, not billionaires, which they were. But, you know, that's part of their tie. It's in their ethics thing. Whereas the Americans, they're not really like that, are they? You see, you can't imagine Cronky and that being in the community. All right, all right then. With, with, what you, with what you're saying, and like you said, the, 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 um, the ownership at Leicester City has been, uh, has been top class. Yeah. The, um, do, do we need more stringent tests then when it comes to fit and proper ownership of, of, of football clubs? You know, because it's happened countless times, hasn't it, where people have come in, taken over, they've been given the thumbs up from the Premier League. Next thing you know, they're doing their own thing. And, and, uh, and, and, and it's the football clubs and the football fans that have to pay the hard price. Yeah, yeah, that's, well, yeah, yeah, possibly, because you, you just don't know, you, you know, look at, look at the Cardiff guy, you know, what happened there, that was, you know, almost, you can't make that up, changing the colour of, you know, that's quite trying to treat, you know, <laughs> it's almost to be against the law, if you get what I mean. Yeah. You, I suppose you have to pull an element of trust in them too as well, you know what I mean, but uh, certainly you don't have to be always vocal and stuff, it's, it, it's what's going on, the actions actually, and that's why that being silent, uh, inverted commas, I think it gives you a lot more power sometimes, generally. You Cheers, know, man. that's it. You know, so, yeah, that's the top. So that's all. Nice one, Paul. Cheers, mate. They've Thank been you very fabulous, much. the Leicester owners. They've been, they've really? been, they've been, they've been brilliant. There is a, there is definitely a feel about them that they are there for the right reasons. But at the same time, they didn't grow up Leicester fans, right? That they've come yeah. to the English Premier League to buy a club. I, I, I think we need to see what it is. But they have been. Fair up until this week, and you will probably, and you said two minutes ago that you you would speak highly of uh, Roman Abramovich and his tenure mm. at, at Chelsea. Mm. Up until recently, I mean, I'm 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 lucky enough to live just on the outside of Manchester to see the work that uh, Sheikh Mansour has done mm -hmm. at Manchester City. You know, the investment. Not I'm not just talking about football club and 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 players mm. on the pitch. I'm mm. talking about a city man. With the infrastructure, you're absolutely right. Building Kevin, schools yeah. and all sorts yeah. of stuff up here. You know what I mean? Changing mm. people's lives. And I'm thinking to myself. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have thought that he would have done, or or the Man Manchester City would have yeah. done that because I think that they've got an understanding of what it means to the community in the club, uh, and the town or oh, the city, should I say? Uh, Dan's a Millwall fan. Dan, welcome to the show. How are you? Hello, I'm all right. Thanks, mate. Um, I just wanted to say that fan involvement on the board can actually work because it did work for Millwall for a good few years. Um, and whilst there's not much, admittedly, we can take a moral high ground on being Millwall fans. The way our clubs run, we, we actually can. And a lot of bigger clubs could take note of how we are run behind the scenes. Um, when our chairman, John Berylson, took over a few years ago now, um, there, was, there was a bit of, a, there was a, bit of a, a gap between the fans and the board. There, we'd been stung previously by previous owners who'd, try to do certain things that we wasn't very happy with and one of the things that John Berylson and his board did when they came in was to appoint a fan on the board. Now that guy was obviously he, he, he worked wonders over the years. I mean fans went to him with all sorts of issues that, that he got he got sold and he did such a good job that he ended up on the board in the end and when mm -hmm. they, then, they, then, they then appointed a new fan on the board who then resigned late in 2019 and then obviously COVID's been for the COVID sorry, for the last year and nothing's happened but I'm sure when life's back to normal again we will again appoint a new fan on the board and it will work just as well so I just want to say it can work albeit yeah. it would have to be incorporated differently at a higher level I think I think I'm not saying it can't have an impact 
So it's a lot of pressure and it's a lot of trust that you need to yeah. put into one human being, isn't it? I'm not, uh, you know, Dan, what, what sort of things did this fan do? What sort of meetings was he involved in? Was he in, involved in transfers? Well, I, I'm not, I have to say every single specific thing because right. I wasn't, I wasn't there. But right. from what I'm aware of, he was at all the major boardroom meetings. Um, if ever there was a major decision to be held at the club, even for, even so much as appointing new managers, um, he had a say. Uh, did he have a say, or did he? Did he have an opinion? I, I, I wouldn't say he had a direct say, but the fans' opinion was heard because he was on the board. If that makes sense. So, See, I, don't, so, I don't know. I don't know how. I that think can that's work. good. I, I think don't, that's good. How? I don't. I know do. This, I really do, mate. I, well, 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 I, look, I don't know how that can work. Way, uh, uh, the, the guy who did it for us, he was. Uh, I, I know him fairly personally. Anyway, he's a very successful businessman. So he's an intelligent individual. He's not just a random supporter who's dragged in off the street if you like yeah, yeah. He, he, he was he was qualified enough to be on a on a board if you like so yeah. he so his opinion could be taken seriously now it was then up to him to engage with the various supporters clubs that we have at Millwall and then decide what opinions he would take seriously to put to the board if that makes sense so I for like example, it I like um, it a lot man well the only problem he faced was because he ran his own businesses and things like that it, it became, I know. I know this from speaking to him personally. It became a hell of a lot to take on. Yeah, it's a big job. Are, yeah, yeah, whilst we're a small club, you're getting people coming to you with all sorts of issues that you've got to then dissect. Full time job, it sounds like. Yeah. Well, 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 that's what I was going to move on to next. I mean, these bigger clubs, they've got they've got enough money to employ someone on a full time basis if they if they wanted to go that route to do the job. Because mm. I can imagine, obviously, we get we're thirteen odd thousand every week, sort of roughly attendance and for you for the likes of Chelsea and your 40 plus thousand 50 thousand seaters you're going to need more because you're going to be coming you're going to have more problems coming to your door but if someone had that on a full-time job and he could put his all put everything into it I don't see why it couldn't work or at least be given a go so, I like it I don't I don't there nice are, one, there, Dan. There are definitely yeah I mean it's a great call there are definitely advantages that you can have a fan involved at a certain level at the club. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, so, I'm not talking about, let's just pull Big Dave out at, out at COP and stick him in boardroom. No. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking, you're proper vetting a person who, like, like Dan was saying there, who has good business acumen, who's probably been at a level themselves, but, but it's a proper fan. Someone who's, who's grown up watching that club for such but a long time. But what about the sacking of a manager? How can, how can that... How Why can, can't they be involved in that conversation, man? It's their football club. Why can't they be involved I don't, in that? Because they're not... They are emotionally invested in a different way. Yeah, but this is what this business is. It's not. It's not a normal business. It is run on emotion. That's the beauty of the sport, isn't it? Well, there are. I'm, I'm guessing there are plenty of fans up and down the country right now, Newcastle fans that want Steve Bruce out. Right, right, right. right. There's, there's a lot. They want the owners out as well. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not but, saying they have decree absolute. No. They don't have the de final decision, but they they can err the voice of the fan. That is important in those boardrooms. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I think that when it comes to because football is so emotional, that your your judgment is clouded because you're emotionally invested. It's a different emotion. You need to detach yourself when you're making business decisions. You cannot be emotionally involved in your decision because then it yeah, clouds you're talking about you're a normal saying. business. You're talking about a normal business. This is not a normal business. It is a, it, you, you, a business. You, you, you are you are a custodian, aren't you, of a, a community's hopes? That's what you are. No, but football it's not is... a normal business. It's not a normal business. Can, but, to, but the, to, is... the man, to the man on the street, to, the, to me, Blackburn Rovers ain't a business. Blackburn Rovers is my football club. That's it. I get that it isn't that. I get that. But that's not what that is to me. I'm emotionally connected to it. And yeah, my that... thoughts and means have to be represented at the I, highest level of that football I, club. I just don't see how... It, look, it might work at certain levels, right? I'm not saying it, clearly it works at Mill or whatever So you don't think it done. can work at the top level? I don't think it can. I honestly don't think it can. So having a voice, for example, in the Chelsea boardroom when, mm. I don't know, I don't know who's in, they're all there, they're having the discussions, mm. we're thinking mm. of doing this Super League thing. A voice in that room to go, hang on, guys, right? Just think about this. I get the business implications and, oh, 300 odd million quid, yeah, sweet as a nut. But think about this, bang, 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 bang. Give these people who have absolutely no idea of those emotional connections because they, they just don't. Give them that thought, at least. Somebody needs to plant that seed in When there. something like this comes along, and it's such a catastrophic disaster, clearly, 
retrospective, when you're looking back now, so yes. So out of touch. Of course, no, it, of course, but I don't think that there can be an involvement on a day-to-day -day basis on the business dealings of a football club. I honestly don't. I, 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 look, I can only... Imagine if, if Bruce Buck had phoned me up and yeah. said, look, we've got Jason, come and have this meeting, right? Yeah. Come and have this meeting. You rock in. They say, we're doing I, this Super League thing. I rock up, and yeah, this Super League thing, right? They, they ask me my opinion. I, I, how, I don't know what... I don't know that the whole... They're not going to give me the whole spiel. They're not going to give me everything. They, they're not going to tell me... Why not? Why not? Because I don't know. I don't... I don't know. What, what, if, what, if we, what if you are, what Dan was saying there two minutes ago, a paired member of the board... <laughs> A paired member of the board. You, 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 you've got equal footing on the board. You've got, that, you've got a vote on that board. So you're now yeah, being, you're now being paid. Well, you're, well, then you're one of them, aren't you? Are you? Doesn't, well, if you're, if you're being paid, then clearly, if you see, okay, you're going to get a bonus of three million pounds if this goes through. Okay, that clouds it. You know, Fair enough. I, look, it's a, it's a lovely romantic notion. It really is. It, it I just think in practice, need a I, voice back, man. But, but fans need their voice back. I don't. I know, I'm not saying they I lost don't, it. I don't. Well, the, I don't think the I don't think the fans' voice is as loud long term as we would love to think. Oh eight seven one seven double two double three double four. Pete's a Spurs fan. Pete, welcome, mate. How are you? Pistol. I'm good, thank you. Go on, Pete. Um, what yeah, do you want to say, really, mate? It's really about fan representation. You had a guy on a couple of weeks ago who alluded to be a Spurs fan. Um, and it, it just came out with such, such absolute rubbish, basically. Now, he's not representing me. Who represents the fan, as it were? What point of view? If, he, if he's pro-bald, anti-bald, which every fan's got a completely different opinion. Of course. So yeah. you're asking one guy for one, one opinion. How do you quantify that? Who do you elect him? Yeah, that's a, listen, these are fair points. These are the fair points. I'm, ju I'm just thinking, Pete, that there needs to be some type of fan representation at boardroom level. I don't know how that is, whether it's one person, ten people. What, I don't know what it is. I'm just well, saying that the yeah, fan's voice needs to be heard by the people that run if, the gaff. If you take Spurs, for instance, we get, you know, 50, 60,000. Yeah. And you're going to get 10 people representing 10,000. You know, was that six people each, each representing 10,000 people? It, it just can't work. So are you happy for, for example, you're just happy for Daniel Levy to crack on as he, as he is? Absolutely. I think he's done a phenomenal job. What do you think of his, of, of, of his involvement then in this this week? Well, with respect, my, my point of view now is just probably alienated 10,000 fans. Mm, I was about to say, Pete, you're, you're one of very, not one of very few. There's a lot of, lot of Spurs fans that think that Daniel Levy has done a great job. There's also a lot that want him out. I saw the protest yesterday that they, want, they want him out. And that's exactly my point. Mm. <laughs> fair. No, no, you, listen, it's a fair it's point, Pete. It's a fair point. Thank you so much for giving us uh, the time, mate. Thanks for giving us a ring. Um, 08717 uh, You are listening to TalkSport. Listen, we are going to move on to uh, some other things, but we're still taking your calls. So if you want to get involved with the show, you're more than welcome to do so. Fan representation at boardroom level. I personally think it's important that fans have a voice at that level. So therefore, we don't get debacles like we've had this week.